In 10 hours, the polls will open for one of the most anticipated local elections in recent memory. Will it be Mayor Sam Jones or Sandy Stimson to lead Mobile for the next four years? That's the question on a lot of minds tonight, and this time tomorrow, we may have an answer. We have live team coverage on both campaigns tonight. Our Russell Coburn is covering the Jones campaign. Candace Murphy is covering the Stimson campaign. We'll find out how both candidates spent this election eve. But we start tonight with the latest on that investigation into possible voter fraud in this election. It's a story we broke last week here on Fox 10 News. Our Andrew Perez has been pushing for more answers since he uncovered this story. Andrew, what are local leaders saying? Well, Bob Lanise, with elections literally just a few hours away, they want some proof. City officials tell us that postal inspectors had flagged some suspicious people who were going to the post office almost daily, turning in absentee ballots. The size of this investigation, it's still unclear, but postal inspectors say they had enough to assign a case agent. Possible voter fraud has been the talk of Mobile just hours out from a hotly contested mayoral election. Postal inspectors confirming to Fox 10 they're looking at suspicious absentee ballots at a time when the city is seeing a record number of them. I have been in the city clerk's office for a total of 19 years and during that time we've never received this many ballots you know, applications for um, an election. But are we looking at a federal crime or a campaign tactic with supporters busing in ballots to the post office? City Councilman Fred Richardson says that remains to be seen. The same person could come to the postal service every day if they are out in the field working on absentee ballots. Richardson has worked for the post office almost 32 years, retiring as a branch manager. City officials say they were told postal inspectors had some concerns about absentee ballots and suspicious people. According to Richardson, it isn't uncommon for the post office to flag people as a precaution. What is it that they need to do to complete it? Find some evidence of voter fraud or someone tampering with the mayor. And tampering can't be writing on the envelope. Someone opened it, sealed it back up, and took it to the postal service. I headed to the post office for more information about the case. Phone calls and emails were not returned by U.S. postal inspectors. We did, however, get comments from the two main candidates in tomorrow's election. If fraud has been committed, we're hoping it will be uh, prosecuted to the furthest extent, you know, the law. I was sure the post office felt some reason to, to put that out, which is also highly unusual. But, uh, I, you know, I just don't have enough facts about it to intelligently speak to it. And now Richardson also said postal inspectors can't just open up these ballots without something like a court order. It's important to point out that no candidate has been singled out in this investigation. We're going to be at Government Plaza all day tomorrow as these uh, record number of absentee ballots are counted.